In this video, we will try some College Board multiple choice questions pertaining to logarithmic function manipulation. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.12. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Number one, the function f is given by f of x equals log base 2 of x. Which of the following is equivalent to f at 7? These are the four log rules you need to memorize. Pause the screen and take notes if you need to. I think for this problem, we will need this green one called the change of base formula. f at 7 means plug in 7 for x. So f at 7 is going to be log base 2 of 7. The change of base formula tells us that we can rewrite a single log as the quotient of two logs. We will have the log of b and the log of a. We just need to remember which one goes in the numerator and which one goes in the denominator. It helps me remember to think that the base b here is low. So the log b will end up in the denominator, still low. The other one will be in the numerator, log a. You need to understand that you can use whatever base you want at this point. This is called the change of base formula because you can put any number here. So I'm saying log base C of A, log base C of B, but this means that I could put uh, log base 7 of A divided by log base 7 of B. Or I could do log base E of A and log base E of B. You can just pick whichever base you want. Applying the change of base formula to the log base 2 of 7, we can rewrite this as uh, the log of 7 divided by the log of 2. Again, the base 2 is low. That reminds me that the log of 2 will end up in the denominator. We can start looking around at the answer choices just understanding that we can put any log base we want uh, in these expressions. So just look for the answer that has log 7 in the numerator and log 2 in the denominator. It doesn't matter what base you see. So I see log base 3 of 7 and log base 3 of 2. That works. So the answer is D. Number two, the function g is given by g of x equals log base 7 of x. And the function h is given by h of x equals log base 49 of x. Which of the following describes the relationships between g and h? Quick side lesson. A logarithm is the exponent that turns the base into the other number. So the log base 2 of 8 is 3 because 2 to the third power is 8. Let's evaluate g of x and h of x at two numbers that we can calculate easily. So what is the log base 7 of 7? 7 to the 1 power is 7. So the log base 7 of 7 is 1. Similarly, the log base 7 of 49 is 2 because 7 to the second power is 49. Now let's evaluate the log base 49 of x at 7 and 49. What exponent will turn 49 into 7? We know that 7 is the square root of 49. So the 1 half power is the exponent that will turn 49 into 7 because 49 to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root of 49. So this one is 1 half. Of course, 49 to the 1 power is 49, so the log base 49 of 49 is 1. So what is the relationship between g of x and h of x? It looks like h is half the value of g. In other words, for equal input values, the output values of h are half the output values of g. So the answer is a. 
Let's solve this problem again analytically using the change of base formula. It will make these two functions easier to compare if we rewrite them so that they have the same base. So let's rewrite h of x to have a base 7. We need the change of base formula. The change of base formula tells us that we can rewrite a single log as the quotient of two logs. So we will have log x in the numerator and log 49 in the denominator. I know that the log 49 goes in the denominator because the 49 is low and that reminds me that the log 49 will also be low. I've left a little bit of space here because we're allowed to use whatever base we want, anything we want. Let's choose a base 7 to match g of x. So h of x is equal to the log base 7 of x divided by the log base 7 of 49. But the log base 7 of 49 can easily be evaluated because 7 to the second power is 49. So log base 7 of 49 is 2. So h of x becomes the log base 7 of x over 2. In other words, h of x is 1 half times the log base 7 of x. Of course, the log base 7 of x is g of x. So h of x is equal to 1 half of g of x. This is another way to see that the output values of h are half of the output values of g for equal input values. So the answer is a. Number three, the function h is given by h of x equals log base three of x. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression two times h at w plus h at p, where w and p are values in the domain of h? So I see that we have two times h at w h at w means plug in w right here so h at w is going to be log base 3 of w and then plus h at p that just means plug in p right here so now we have this this purple power rule tells us that if we have a number in the front we can move it to the exponent we can use the power rule to move this 2 to the exponent of the w. So this will become log base 3 of w squared plus log base 3 of p. Now we can use the product rule, which says that if we have the sum of two logs, we can write it as the single log of a product. We can write this as the single log base 3 of w squared times p. So now I'm hunting for this. Well, the answer is c. Number 4. The function f is given by f of x equals log base 10 of x. The function g is given by g of x equals log base 10 of x to the third power. Which of the following describes a transformation for which the graph of G is the image of the graph of F? When they say G is the image of F, that means we are looking for a transformation that will turn F into function G. The power rule works in this direction as well. If we have an exponent inside a logarithm, we are allowed to take that exponent and move it out to the front like this. We are given that g of x is equal to the log base 10 of x to the third power. The power rule says that we can take this 3 and move it to the front of the log. So g of x is equal to 3 times the log base 10 of x. However, the log base 10 of x is f of x. 
that means g of x is equal to three times f of x. And we know that a three out in the front of f of x is a vertical dilation of f by a factor of three. So the answer is A, a vertical dilation of f by a factor of three will turn f into function g. Number five, the function f is given by f of x equals natural log x. Which of the following describes input values for which the output values of f are integers? First of all, this is the set of integers. It includes the negative numbers, zero, and positive numbers, but no decimals or fractions. So, let's examine each answer choice one at a time and see if we will get integers. So, option A says the input values would be integer powers of E. So, here are a few examples, E to the one power, E to the two power, E to the three power. If we plug these in to f of x, we would have the natural log of e, the natural log of e squared, and the natural log of e to the third power. The natural log of e is one, because natural log of e really means log base e of e, and e to the one power is e, so that's why the value of this is one. For the same reason, um, the natural log of e to the second power is going to be two. So basically, the, the natural log and the e are going to cancel each other out, leaving behind the exponent. So these will cancel out and leave three. So uh, these are integer output values. So I'm, I'm betting that a is going to be the answer. Let me say a little bit more about this before we move on. In practice, I'm used to saying that natural log and E cancel each other out and leave behind the two. And that is how it works, but here's why. Um, we, we have the natural log of E to the second power. Using the power rule, we can move this two to the front. So this will become two times the natural log of E. We just discussed why the natural log of E is one, because e to the one power is e. So this becomes two times one, which is two. So that's why you just get two and then three. So a worked, at least with the three values that I chose. Let's check the other options to make sure that they don't work. So b says we want integer powers of 10. So this would be 10 to the one power, 10 squared, 10 to the third power. Evaluating the natural log of x at each one of these input values, we would have the natural log of 10, the natural log of 10 squared, and the natural log of 10 to the third power. Uh, there's no reason to believe that these will be whole numbers. The natural log of 10, this is the log base e of 10. There's no whole number that will turn uh, e into a 10. Uh, so none of these are going to be integers. Option C says integers raised to the power of e. Uh, that would be like one to the e power, two to the e power, three to the e power. This would give us the natural log of one to the e, natural log two to the e, and natural log three to the e. We could move these e's to the front, so we would have e times natural log of one, e times the natural log of two, and e times the natural log of three. Uh, the natural log of one is zero, which is an integer, um, but that's where the good news ends. The uh, natural log of two and the natural log of three, these will just be random decimals. So we will not get integers for the rest of these. So C doesn't work. What about D? Integers raised to the power of 10. That would be like one to the 10th power, 
2 to the 10th power and 3 to the 10th power. That would give us natural log of 1 to the 10, natural log 2 to the 10, natural log 3 to the 10. This is essentially the same result as option C. The first one, uh, 10 natural log 1, is 0. Natural log of 1 is 0. That is an integer. But the rest of these, uh, natural log of 2 and natural log of 3, these are decimals. 10 times a decimal is still going to be a decimal. So our first try was correct. A is the answer. Number 6. The function g is given by g of x equals a times the log base b of c, where a, b, and c are positive integers. Which of the following is an equivalent representation of g of x? The power rule says we can take a number in the front and move it to the exponent. So if we take this a from the front and move it to the exponent, we get log base b of c to the a power. So the answer is a. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.